What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, believe it or not, this is my fourth or third time making this video. So this is part of the Open Ocarina of Time project. This is a GUI for compiling the PC port. Now, this was made by, uh, wow, three users in Discord so far. Uh, one user has been improving it constantly. This is version 0.3.1. And this added support for .v64, which is going to make this video, hopefully, perfect. So we're going to run this as administrator so we can bypass the UAC prompts. And that will hopefully open. Why are you not opening? Oh, there it goes. That was weird. So we're going to hit this one button right here, okay? That's it. Hopefully, everything will go perfectly. So right now, it's downloading vsbuildtools.exe. It's going to install the CP C++ development tools uh, for building inside of a command prompt. Next, it's going to download Python and Git. It's going to add Python to path, and the Git is meant to be used within the command prompt for uh, Git clone recursive and updating repositories. Okay, so that is very, very important. As this download is going to take a while due to me having slow internet, we'll be right back when it's done. So that's done. What it's going to do next is it's going to silently install Git, it's going to silently install Python, add to path, and it's going to silently install VS uh, build tools. Okay? And that will allow everything to go properly in the next step, which is to get clone and recursive. Now, this next part, as you can see, it says this will possibly take up to 30 to 50 minutes to install, uh, depending on your internet speed, and it is indeed correct. So, give this a bit of time to finish, I guess. It's up to you. As for me, I already have it installed, ready to go, so we're going to hit enter. Enter. <laughs> uh, it's going to do a whole bunch of cool stuff, so... Refreshing environmental variables, blah blah blah. It's basically going to load the repository next. And this is going to pull down Glide in 64, which is the best you can get for proper rendering visuals in the OOT port. Um, it allows for frame buffer support and the best visuals overall. And it supports HD texture packs such as OOT Reloaded. So this is where the recursive part takes part, uh, takes place. So as I said, it's gonna grab AZI Audio and Glide N64. So first it's grabbing Glide N64. And once that's all done, it's going to grab the ROM next to the .exe. As you can see, it found it. Then it's going to decompress the ROM and it's going to start extracting the assets. It's going to use all your cores and all your threads. So the more cores and threads you have, the faster this will go. I only have six cores attached to this virtual machine that we're working in. So this is, of course, going to take a little while. But through the magic of editing, you don't have to see it all. All right. So... It's done extracting the assets, and the next thing it's going to do, it's going to jump into another window and start compiling. Now, this uses build tools, so it does not need to open up Visual Studios to do anything. This will automatically do everything for you, as seen in here. There it goes. Now, of course, this is going to take a little while, once again, depending on how many cores and how many threads you have. So the faster the CPU you have, the faster the render will be, or compile. Yeah, the faster the compile will be. And once again, thanks to, you know, uh, magical editing, we'll be right back. Anyway, it is pretty much almost done compiling. Can take another couple of seconds to finish. This is a long process since we are using VMware. It would have already been done by now if I was, you know, not VMware. But I wanted to give you the most clean environment possible for when doing this that way. You could see it done from scratch. Well, guys, it's finished. It's done. And now all you have to do is hit this button right here. And it's automatically going to open up. And you guys can start playing and have a lot of fun. 
It is not this slow. Trust me. Uh, this is just because of VMware. In actual reality, you can run this at up to 120 FPS. This is the best project out there for the OOT PC port that you can find and the most accurate. And with that, I'm off. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to share it, subscribe, and do all this cool stuff. You'll find links for everything in the description, including to their Discord and to the GitHub where you can find this tool. And also to the Discord, once again, if you need help compiling. You'll also find a link to the wiki if you want to do this another way using actual Visual Studios. I'll see you guys next time. Hit that like button, subscribe, share, do all that cool stuff. Bye-bye.